October 22, 1994, a night that was supposed to celebrate the glitz and glamour of the Philippine movie industry, ended up being one of the biggest scandals in showbiz history that resulted in a media maelstrom whereby a showdown was cast between a mayor with presidential ambitions, and a famous beauty queen who was notorious for her suspicious work in Brunei. This is the story of the 1994 Metro Manila Film Festival, a scandal that rocked the nation to its core. Once a year, the Manila Film Festival commemorated the founding anniversary of Manila on June 24, dating back to 1571. The 1994 edition's awarding ceremonies, televised for a broader audience, unfolded on June 22 at the Manila Midtown Ramada Hotel, situated in the Ermita district. The responsibility of tabulating results and selecting winners rested on the shoulders of the accounting firm S.Y. Sip Gores Valayo & Company SGV. The hosts for the Best Actor category featured Rufa Gutierrez, a dual-role participant as a nominee for the Best Actress Award, alongside actress, Nanette Medved. On the other hand, presiding over the Best Actress category, were Rufa's younger brother, Rocky, Viveka Babaji, who had represented Mauritius in the Miss Universe 1994 pageant held in Manila a month earlier and had also been a co-contestant of Rufa in the Miss World 1993 pageant in South Africa. Completing the hosting ensemble was Gretchen Barreto. In the wings, orchestrating the event's talent coordination, was Lolit Solis, serving as the talent manager for Medved and the Best Actor nominee, Gabby Concepcion. During the climactic Best Actor award announcement, the air was thick with anticipation as Rufa Gutierrez and Nanette Medved took the stage to unveil the winner. In an unexpected twist, they jointly declared Gabby Concepcion as the victor for his role in the drama film, Loretta, a narrative loosely tethered to the Lorena Bobbitt case, where Gutierrez herself held the lead actress role. The revelation, however, stood in stark contrast to the findings of SGV representatives who had positioned Concepcion in third place. According to SGV, the coveted Best Actor honor was rightfully bestowed upon Edu Manzano for his compelling role in the action film, Zacharias. Transitioning to the Best Actress Award, Vivica Babaji took the spotlight, announcing Rufa Gutierrez as the triumphant recipient for her portrayal in Loretta. Nevertheless, SGV's meticulous calculations had already determined Aiko Melendez as the deserving winner for her performance in a drama film. The first signs of discord emerged when Babaji preempted Gretchen Barreto in disclosing the results, meant to be announced jointly. Barreto's bewilderment was palpable, and suspicion cast its shadow over the co-hosts. Trouble escalated as Rufa ascended the stage to claim her trophy, while Babaji, caught on the microphone, instructed a seemingly drowsy Rocky Gutierrez with urgency, take it, take it. Referring to the cue cards containing the winner's names, which he promptly pocketed. This surreptitious act, captured on camera, heightened the intrigue surrounding the unfolding events, with the disappearance of the cue cards adding an air of mystery. SGV, recognizing the anomaly, promptly alerted Manila Mayor Alfredo Lim to the irregularities that marred the ceremony. Lim, seizing the moment, commandeered the stage after the majority of attendees had departed, delivering a startling announcement to the remaining audience members and journalists. In a dramatic revelation, he exposed the cheating that had transpired, declaring Edu Manzano and Aiko Melendez as the authentic winners, thereby shattering the illusion crafted by the hosts. A special announcement, please uh, stay by. We do not want an injustice and an unfairness to be committed here. Uh, where is the SGB people? Uh, will you uh, make the announcement? Okay, uh, based on our official tabulation done this afternoon, the best actor should be Mr. Edu Manzano, <laughs> and the best actress should be Miss Aiko Melendez. Thank you very much. A swindle being perpetrated uh, on the public and we want to find out who are uh, really responsible for this because uh, Attorney Laksa uh, reported and complained to me that uh, the SGB people who were responsible for the tabulation uh, of the points for to find out the real winners uh, are complaining why uh, suddenly other persons were named when uh, in truth and in fact they are not uh, the real winners of this uh, 
best actor and best actress category. The aftermath of the scandal revealed a turbulent period for some of the key figures involved. For Rufa Gutierrez, the controversy marked the second time within a year that she found herself at the center of public scrutiny. In 1993, Senator Ernesto Maceda accused her, along with other actresses and models, of engaging in high-priced prostitution in Brunei, leading to the infamous, Brunei Beauties, scandal. Gutierrez vehemently denied these allegations during a Senate hearing. Gabby Concepcion, another central figure in the controversy, was no stranger to public controversies during that time. These included the annulment of his marriage to actress Sharon Cunetta, marital troubles, accusations of bigamy, and failure to fulfill contractual obligations in the entertainment industry. Edu Manzano, the actual winner in the Best Actor category, expressed his disbelief at the unfolding events, labeling the incident as the quote, craziest thing that ever happened to him, end quote. Meanwhile, Aiko Melendez, the rightful winner in the Best Actress category, endured a chaotic aftermath, with her gown torn during the commotion that ensued Mayor Lim's announcement. The scandal garnered extensive domestic and international coverage, creating a significant uproar. Even then First Lady Amelita Ramos voiced her complaint, stating that the controversy dominated discussions among her hosts during an official visit to Europe. The situation took a dark turn when the Alex Bon Cahiao Brigade, a breakaway faction from the Communist New People's Army, threatened to assassinate those implicated unless they faced justice through legal means. Cinemas in Manila and other cities also took a stand, refusing to showcase films featuring Gutierrez and Concepcion. Mayor Alfredo Lim took decisive action, directing the Manila City Council to establish a five-person fact-finding committee led by Vice Mayor Lido Atienza. Lim's anger was palpable as he ordered Rufa Gutierrez and Gabby Concepcion to return their trophies, while simultaneously threatening to deport Vivica Babaji. In a swift move, Lim issued a summons for the hosts, Gabby Concepcion, and Rufa Gutierrez's mother and concurrent manager, Annabel Rama, demanding their presence at Manila City Hall for an inquiry on the 27th of June. The atmosphere was tense as the city sought answers to the controversy that had marred the prestigious film festival. As the investigation unfolded, shocking revelations emerged. Vivica Babaji and Rocky Gutierrez were implicated in a conspiracy to manipulate the results. The scheme involved the surreptitious swapping of envelopes, replacing the real winners' names with an alternate set allegedly prepared by Lolit Solis, the event's talent coordinator. The intricate web of deception and manipulation began to unravel, exposing the extent of the plot that had cast a shadow over the acclaimed film festival. On the 25th of June, Gretchen Barreto took center stage in a press conference, boldly asserting that Lola Solis, in collaboration with Annabel Rama, had orchestrated the entire incident. Barreto went further, claiming that Solis had approached her with an offer, the coveted title of Best Actress in the next edition of the film festival, all in exchange for her compliance. Both Solis and Rama vehemently denied these allegations, setting the stage for a tense confrontation. Meanwhile, Rufa Gutierrez staunchly denied any involvement in the scandal, adamantly refusing to part with her award. In a dramatic turn of events, 
Solis threatened to set Gabby Concepcion's trophy ablaze in front of Manila City Hall, only to later reconsider, expressing a willingness to exchange it for a substantial sum, specifically, a staggering $38,000. Then after they announced the winner, pagkaka magagalito. If they want, I can. Sino na sampu pan trophy bibigay ko Edu Manzano sa kay Aiko? Ha? What we gain from this? O gusto lang talaga ng pinpes ang puro skandalo ha? Last year na skandalo, anong December ngayon, skandalo na naman. Kung tinabasa rin na actually on it, official results now. After God, they were all there, they were one handling the envelope, they were all there, they were all there, they were all there, they were all there, they envelope didn't pass through anybody. Wala. From the SDB, the present don't pass. Ngayon po nagkamali kay Gabi. Right there. Inanounce mo. Ba't mo papapabuting kayo pa? The saga took an emotional turn on the 27th of June when Rufa Gutierrez, accompanied by her parents, personally returned her trophy at Lynn's office in City Hall. The gravity of the situation overwhelmed her, leading to tears as she faced an angry mob. Simultaneously, Solis quietly returned Concepcion's trophy during the formal inquiry, marking a pivotal moment in the unraveling narrative of the scandal. On the 28th of June, the Manila city government took decisive action, filing charges of fraud, deceit, grave scandal, and obstruction of justice against the Gutierrez siblings, Annabel Rama, Gabby Concepcion, Vivica Babaji, Nanette Medved, and Lalit Solis. This collective group would later be infamous as the Filmfest 7, embodying the tangled web of intrigue that had ensnared the prestigious film festival. Vivica Babaji, labeled Miss Malicious by the Philippine press, found herself declared persona non grata by the Manila city government. However, she had already departed the country on the 26th of June, eluding any immediate repercussions. In an interview with Ricky Lowe before her departure, Babaji maintained her stance as a victim, asserting that she was unknowingly drawn into a conspiracy to manipulate the results. She emphasized her status as a stranger in the country, denying any direct interaction with Lolit Solis. Babaji revealed that she was recruited as a host by an unidentified man and agreed to the role after seeking advice from Annabel Rama. She further clarified that the cue card she handled bore Rufa's name and that her recorded instructions to Rocky were intended to prompt him to retrieve the trophy for his sister. Acknowledging her temporary residence as a house guest of the Gutierrez family during her stay in the Philippines, Babaji's account added layers to the unfolding drama surrounding the scandal. As the scandal unfolded, immigration authorities turned their scrutiny towards the residency status of Nanette Medved and Gabby Concepcion, both believed to be U.S. citizens. Distancing themselves from Lolit Solis's management, both individuals left the fold amidst the controversy. Nanette Medved took a pivotal turn, admitting her involvement and transitioning into a state witness. In a surprising twist, she claimed that Rufa Gutierrez had knowingly participated in the scheme, an assertion vehemently denied by Gutierrez, who maintained she had unwittingly read the switched results. Gabby Concepcion also stepped forward, naming Lalit Solis as the mastermind behind the plot. Expressing regret for his involvement, Concepcion saw the charges against him quietly dropped after Manila Mayor Alfredo Lim left office. By then, Concepcion had relocated to the United States. Ultimately, Lalit Solis took responsibility for orchestrating the incident, seeking forgiveness from the public. She portrayed Gabby Concepcion as the instigator, whom she professed to love like a son. Solis, in an unexpected turn, implicated Medved while absolving the Gutierrez siblings of wrongdoing. In the legal aftermath, Solis stood as the sole individual convicted among the Film Fest 7. She was ordered to pay a fine and placed under court supervision, having pleaded guilty to the charges. In 2002, the Manila Regional Trial Court Branch 8, 
under Judge Felix Berto Alalia Jr., dismissed the fraud charges against the Gutierrez siblings. The judge ruled that while deceit was evident, there was insufficient evidence to prove damages inflicted on the city of Manila. The court mandated the city government to bear the litigation costs while imposing a fine of 50,000 pesos on the Gutierrez siblings. After the scandal, Gabby Concepcion chose to exit the acting scene, opting for a new chapter in the United States, where he worked as a real estate agent. In 2008, he made a comeback to the Philippines, resuming his career. During his hiatus, Lalit Solis filed a lawsuit against him, alleging non-payment of commissions. However, Concepcion emerged victorious in 2004, with the Court of Appeals ordering Solis to pay him 700,000 pesos in damages and litigation fees. Vivica Babaji pursued her acting and modeling endeavors in India but tragically died by suicide in Mumbai in 2010, unrelated to the scandal, exactly 16 years after Gretchen Barreto spoke out on the controversy. Nanette Medved and Rocky Gutierrez continued their careers in acting but eventually retired, with Medved shifting her focus towards philanthropy. As for Gabby Concepcion, Gretchen Barreto, Rufa Gutierrez, Annabel Rama, and Lalit Solis, they remain active figures in the entertainment industry. Solis, in particular, continued managing artists, writing entertainment columns, and hosting the long-running GMA network talk show, Star Talk, from 1995 to its conclusion in 2015. In interviews, Solis expressed ongoing regret over the affair, citing apologies and reconciliation with the actors involved. However, she ceased attending award ceremonies post-controversy, deeming it both a quote, nightmare, and the most significant lesson in her life. Alfredo Lim's decisive actions in handling the scandal elevated his national profile and played a role in his decision to launch an unsuccessful bid for the Philippine presidency in the 1998 elections.